if you go to the extensions and themes, you can see here that one of the extensions is called icons. And so you can add vector retina ready icons uh, to menus buttons, or you can use them instead of images. So I'm going to show you how to in insert those today. So let's try up in the header first. So before when you clicked on it, you had many options. And now if you have the icons uh, add-on, if you buy it, you purchase it, then you'll have uh, the option here to insert an icon. All you have to do is click on that. And then you come up with uh, the set of icons here. And then you also have a couple of options. You can choose the icon color. So you can see here, it changes the color. So you can use any color that you want. You can also choose a color if it's not available. If you want to remove the color, all you have to do is click this X here. So it says clear the color selection. And the icon size, you can also choose to make it a certain size. You can also type in a number. Or you can just have it be automatically sized to the area uh, that you want. So let's go ahead and just choose an icon here. Um, how about a heart? And then <clears throat> we have a couple of options. We can remove it or insert the icon. Obviously, we're putting it there, so we want to insert it. And now we have an icon up here. Now, if you want to make changes to it, you click on the space where it is. Click Insert Icon. And let's say we want to add a specific color to it. We want to have a red heart. And then we would click Insert Icon again. And then now the heart is red and it's in our uh, menu up here. You can also add icons to buttons. So if we come down here, you can see I can also insert an icon here. So let's put this one here. And now I have a nice icon that goes with the button itself. And we can also insert icons where there are images. So this is just the uh, four across uh, piece of content here, like columns. And instead of having this image here, when I click on it, I get the image, I can insert a video, or I can insert an icon now. So let's go ahead and uh, let's clear this out. <coughs> let's clear this out. And we'll choose auto. So let's just choose an image here. It's a credit card. Um, you can also insert a link so that whenever someone clicks this icon, it goes to a page. So you can select the page here, or you could select an anchor. Uh, so that means it would, when they click it, it would go down the screen instead of going to a whole new page. Um, we'll just leave it as is right now. Uh, but I do want to choose a color, so let's choose uh, green. And then you can see that the icon is going to be color green. And then we'll insert the icon. And now you can see our icon is in there in place of the image. <clears throat> now if you want to remove an icon, oh here's another example down here. So instead of having a, what was there before was this Moby Rise logo. So instead of having that logo, we've actually replaced it um, with uh, an icon, which is uh, kind of interesting. And also, if you go to your logo, your main logo, you can choose to upload an image, or you can choose to insert an icon. So let's say we want to insert this icon here. And then now, instead of a logo, we have an icon. And if you wanted to connect that to your business name, you would just show the brand name in the header section. And then now you would have <coughs> your company name and a nice logo. And you could choose you could choose a logo size. So let's say you only want it to be kind of small. So you can make that kind of small. So there's a lot of different variations and things that you could do with this. 
uh, you can change the you can change the color to uh, auto, which inserts a white icon. Maybe not what you're going for, and uh, you can also choose a, just a different color randomly. Alright, to take the icons off, so let's go ahead and reset this, so we'll take the name off. And then, in order to reset this back to our logo, we've chosen an icon, we just need to go back and choose an image. Our image is still kind of loaded up there, so what we'll do is we'll click OK. And then it brings our image back. We can click here, go to Insert Icon, and instead of inserting, we're going to remove so we can take that off and then you can just go through each of the different areas and you can remove the icons same thing here so instead of adding an icon we could go back and put a video or we can put our original image and the same thing down here so we can just click on the image and this is our original image and then now it's all back to normal so that's how to insert and modify and remove the MobiRise icons. They're, they're vector icons, so that means that whenever, <clears throat> whenever the screen goes down like this for mobile, then those icons are also going to, um, they're going to shrink and grow according to uh, the size of the screen, and they're also not going to lose resolution. So they're very nice to have. And uh, I believe the add-on is about nine or ten dollars, and so it's a nice little addition, uh, especially if you're going to be creating an extensive website or uh, or many websites. <clears throat> Once you buy the extension, you have it on your computer. So uh, that is using icons, and um, I'll see you for the next video.